minal syaitanir rajim bismillahirrahmanirrahim assalamualaikum everyone so alhamdulillah hari ini kami ada seorang tetamu istimewa bersama kami ah uh, iaitu yang berbahagia datuk paduka syarifah hishmah shahabudin welcome datuk paduka thank you for being with us yeah thank you so much yes yeah. So Datuk Paduka adalah seorang patron kepada Persatuan Kumpulan Sokongan Kanser Negeri Perlis. Ah uh, pertubuhan ni dinamakan Perkin in short eh. And she does yes. a lot of uh, the NGO yang buat uh, banyak support uh, work untuk cancer patients in Perlis. Ya Datuk Datuk Paduka. Ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. So maybe um uh, Datuk Paduka boleh bagi kita sikit pengenalan tentang the works that you are involved in and the people the cancer patients uh, problems yang mereka hadapi dan sebagainya okay um yes i saya ni um, i've been active in um in the society in in perlis and through ngo work and um a group of ladies um, approached me one day that they are doing this uh, outreach program for cancer patient And, and survivors so um, that was about 2010 i think okay. and um they oh, they tahun sudah, eh? 10 tahun sudah so they be doing on their own using their own money and um doing this outreach program doing training and then um and then uh, awareness program tapi i told them that you know if they cannot continue doing this They, they have to set up a persatuan. Uh, they can do the the work more uh, uh, efficiently, and people they can approach also for fun for funding. So, Perkin was um, I think registered in 2011. 2011. Oh, mashallah. So, yeah, after a year, and we um, we in Yayasan. Yayasan Amal Tunku Hajar Budria were the first to support this uh, initiative. Um, we help fund their programs and then I also help to get funding from them from Kuala Lumpur. Tahu lah di Perlis mana ada business people kan? <laughs> so <laughs> I, have to, I have to get yeah. funding from, yeah, from KL. So through the years uh, now they are very uh, active and um, we got the uh, the hospital gave them a room in the hospital to set up um apa ni uh, for 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 their activities um and then most a lot of my doctors and nurses are in our committee too Ah, okay. And um, heading my the NGO is is a cancer survivor. She herself is a cancer survivor. Okay. Yes. So, apa aktiviti aktiviti yang dilakukan oleh um, persatuan ni? Ah, okay, so they get information lah from from the public. I know. Kadang-kadang from the kan kita ada JJK JKKK whatever they in the kampung that can ah. give the, us information that they are. Uh, dalam kawasan dia orang ada orang sakit ke apa kan? Mm-mm. Mm oh so, these okay, are so very good uh, to get the information lah. There's lack of awareness on uh, awareness yeah. Cancer uh, mungkin tanda-tanda simptom-simptom cancer that kind of thing is it? Uh, they usually lah you know dalam kampung ni bila sakit ni the first thing they would do is they think kena pergi bomo lah kan ha, <laughs> oh traditional lah. medicine <laughs> ah dia cari ubat cara lain dulu tapi uh, sebab I, i don't blame them because why kadang-kadang to get to get an appointment in the hospital pun it takes a long time so uh, the best for them is still kalau dia boleh dapat orang jumpa orang boleh buat traditional medicine ni they will go there first so uh, That, so the only way gangguan, gangguan makhluk halus dan sebagainya lah kan? Ya yeah, banyak lah banyak dia orang tu fikir yang yang benda-benda halus yang uh, only 
oh ni the traditional way yang boleh boleh pulihkan kan yeah, but okay. actually yeah yeah to get to know what cancer ni macam-macam kan uh-huh. uh, uh, it, it's it's uh, not only one you know you you have of organs lah breast lah you know uh, blood lah so you, this one only doctors can diagnose kan yeah betul yeah so uh, But through the uh, now through the persatuan, I think yang very successful is the outreach okay. and the awareness from young, from young. That means they go to the schools, they go to the colleges, universities. You know, you you when you go through this uh, as knowledge uh, to detect and uh, to know about the disease, much um, breast cancer, be self check. And then we tell them what age, you know, this re- uh, they they should be uh, going to doctors and all that. So this this programs young very positive, you know, mm. because I think right now cancer can be treated, betul tak? Yeah. But it has to be treated early lah. Bila detect, find find the best solution. Yeah. How to cure? Betul, that's what I just said. The detection yeah. tu, people takut nak pergi hospital atau malas nak pergi hospital or even in KL when people have awareness they, they claim that they are too busy to go to the hospital to check up, yeah. you know so yeah. semua ni makan painkiller, try to you know, yeah. try to manage things on their own only when yeah. things are, it's too late, barulah pergi hospital but by that time dah lambat kan, very late Now we we you know the the government has given so much they've done so much you know free mammogram lah you know banyak 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 yang tapi a lot of people don't know about it why why should they go for it so um, I think where uh, any awareness is very important number one and the outreach too uh, telling them what to do you know. Um, Like um, pap smear, you know, we mm. uh, we should all women should go and do this. Why are they not doing it? Mm. You know, so when you go for pap smear, you can do your breast check. Um, semua boleh buat in one stop center. Yeah. You know? Um, gram tu, yeah, tak perlu lah buat every year. Tapi you you need to do like your lifetime to be kena lah buat check. But do it early. Do it early. No, prevention is better than than cure. The- yeah, betul. Prevention is better than cure, kan? Also, the yeah. healthy lifestyle, kan? And- healthy lifestyle, very important. Uh, this we can train from young. Hmm. Go to the schools and teach them healthy living. You know, and show them, you know, um, uh, why we need to eat more vegetables and fruits. Stay away from dark meat. Eat, no, stay away from oily food. And sugar, no sugar in. Oh, no, sugar ni no yang paling susah ni sebab ah, ni dah dari kecil tak, tak dah makan milo dah. Ah, so jangan jangan ambil. Yang mana yang additive additive? Don't go into this two in one, three in one thing. You know, all these are 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 mix for marketing. You know, go the natural way. You want tea, ambil brew the tea. Don't nak. Two in one, three in one, semua ni loads of sugar, you know. Yes, that's right. Yeah, mm. I I, mm. I remember growing up dulu kan, kita mm. biasa makan benda-benda pahit, you know. Kita tak mm. tak tak so not too sugary, you see. So mm. boleh minum teh, teh tak ada gula pun boleh minum. Peria kita makan peria okay je, memang pahit lebih yeah. sedikit lah daripada biasa kan. Tapi like yeah. with modern people, they they really don't have that taste bud yeah, to be able to yeah. tolerate benda pahit. No, it's about early lah. Uh, you know, uh, kalau kita di rumah, we cook some meals, we cook our meals uh, at home. Uh, they will grow up to to like that type of food. But if they grow up from dari muda, taking junk food, uh, you know, or eating instant food, then they They don't want this wholesome meals anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, and then uh, teach them to eat natural, lah, natural foods, fruits instead of juices. Why 
yang 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 you beli bottled juices tu why can't you make it your own yeah you know so it's is healthy uh, and it's better to eat raw than to eat yang dah proses yang ada added sugar tu ya yeah, sepatutnya di kampung kan lebih banyak dimakan buah kan sebab buah abundant kan in kampung kadang kalau dia orang buat jual pun kalau jual tak yeah. habis pun sampai busuk buah-buahan tu so it is It yeah. is abundant. So this is, this is oh, yeah. This is also you know, uh, like me. I'm in in this business also. I'm in the food business, eh? uh-huh. so I always tell them, you know, uh, why don't you, why why are the children not eating our local food? Yeah. Our our quick with traditional our local food instead of yang mana they see on TV being promoted on TV. You know, man. Yeah. Uh, I I don't I don't want to mention any name lah kan yang promote kat TV tu. <laughs> Tapi, <laughs> but why can't we promote to eat local? You know, and of course, if you you cook local, it's cheaper than to eat yang yang mana yang yang fusion fusion ni. Eh. Yeah, betul. I think maybe mm. because local food is not dalam tak, tak masuk dalam iklan kot. Sebab everybody is being influenced by iklan, kan? So Mm-mm. these kinds of food, yeah. they're not in, they they tak ada dalam iklan, they tak ada dalam shopping mall. Hari ni yeah. orang semua duduk depan TV, depan handphone, and depan yeah. shopping dalam shopping mall. Is it? Uh, because of that, you know, for for us, kan, we we are also encouraging them to eat wholesome, kan, macam like you said just now, yeah. more fruits and vegetables and all that. So we came up with this buku recipe called Recipe Super Immune, especially during COVID okay. times, ni kan. Yang important adalah yeah. meningkatkan immunity. So if your immune system is stronger, then it's not just cancer, mm-hmm. kan? It's COVID, and it's not just COVID. It's all the diseases, kan? Kita ada stronger immunity yeah. to fight this disease. Yeah. Jadi, yeah. Um, in fact, you know, uh, for about one, uh, about two weeks, my production team duduk dalam one apartment to just shoot rancangan masakan, tu. And the one mm-hmm. makan makanan yang dia masak tu lah for that two weeks tu. Mm-hmm. When they came back to the office, I noticed all of them look so brilliant. You know, muka dia semua lain, bercahaya. Dia pun nampak seri. Ah, buat seri <laughs> betul. At first kan, sebab I you, you, you dah, you, sebab you dah ajar dia orang makan uh, serai lengkuas, uh, halia. <laughs> yes. All these are root. Those are roots that are very good, and they we can get it fresh. Kan? Yeah. Pasal apa kita tak guna untuk masak masak kita? Betul. All the ulam ulam, ulam ulam. Ah, nak cicah dengan sambal ke makan raw ke? All these are very good and yeah. very healthy. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Actually, we're very blessed to have all this. Kalau I travel, kan? Kalau kalau pergi yeah. other countries, so like the Arab countries, kan? They don't have most of these things, yeah. you know. Even kunyit pun they bring from India and it's dry. They have to powder it. Kita ada kunyit basah, you know. Yes. <laughs> Terus boleh juice it, kan? Betul, betul. No, no, no. I say Malaysian food is wholesome meal, you know. Because uh, we, macam, if you compare lah, ya, yang bread, okay, is white bread ke or, or green ke. But kita, kita punya pulut, kita punya... Um, ubi-ubi Jenis makanan kita kan Kita guna yes. banyak ubi-ubi Ubi kayu, ubi keledek And apa ni uh, yeah. Yam apa ni uh, uh, All this are very nutrition, uh, Nutritious And then kita kalau masak Masak sayur-sayur kita pun You know Masa apa kita nak makan Yang mana yang important Kita hmm. punya sayur punya list pun dah Punya lah Berjela-jela nama pun kita tak makan. Betul, betul tak? Betul, ha. betul. Sokong sangat. And these are, and these are, yeah, and these are healthier, you know, than yang mana yang kita bawa imported. Because imported tu, before they import, they already spray macam-macam on it. Yeah. To, to keep it fresh, you know. Ha. Betul, thank you for saying that. So, all of you viewers, Dengar tak? It's not just me yeah. saying that. I keep talking about eat local, kan? Kita tak menggalakkan yeah, benda important. Because benda important tu, of course, if it survive for the last six months, patutnya you tahu, yeah. enam hari pun sayur boleh layu. So, kalau yeah. dia boleh survive enam bulan daripada luar negara sampai ke negara you, maksudnya there's something wrong in there, you know? 
Yes. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. eat, eat fresh, eat local. Si Datuk Paduka is also saying the same thing, you know. Dari muda, dari muda kena 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 eh, teach them to eat this. Yeah. You know, uh, so that they will grow up liking this type of food. Mm. You know, yes. Just like the Japanese, you know, like the Japanese, the the staple meal is the rice. You know, they eat lots of rice. Uh, we Asians lah, Asians I think healthy eating. Mm. Uh, Asians yeah. eat very healthy. We eat lots of roots. We eat fresh vegetables, fresh fruits. Uh, tambah di Malaysia ni to roll out the year kita ada papaya, benak, uh, pisang, papaya, watermelon, uh, nenas, macam-macam. All these are so good. Why you want to eat apples and pears yang berapa bulan duduk kat transport tu? Yeah. Betul, kan? Yes, thank yeah. you very much for saying these things because inilah selalunya saya membebel kan dekat the patients or people who wants to do prevention, kan? So, I always yeah. membebel benda ni lah. Kata kalau if you keep taking food yang dah yeah. tak ada nutrition dalam tu, kan? Dah tak ada hasiat dah. That's yeah. when your body doesn't have, it loses nutrition and then your immune, immune system weakens and then mm-hmm. you're prone to all kinds of diseases lah kan so yeah. if we eat healthy we eat on time kan Mm-mm. then then um inshallah and we if we cook on our own you know cooking the meal mm. pun kan pagi-pagi uh, kalau tak makan porridge pun why why don't we make bubu bubu jagung bubu gandum bubu bubu kacang hijau uh, you know or, or bubu all the apa ni, grains kan this can be a healthy breakfast yes you know? that's right um, yeah. instead of eating cereal 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 which is not our culture pun mm cereal tu semua dah tak ada khasiat dah stay away tak payah makan tak payah makan susu banyak sangat pun yeah uh, that that right. is not part of our nutrition kita tak mm-hmm. kita tak perlulah makan susu banyak sangat yeah so might as well Uh, I encourage people to take uh, santan instead of susu. Yeah, betul. Santan. Santan mm. is very nutritious. So a lot of people ask oh. me, um, you yeah. nak I and coconut oil. oil. Tapi you letak, you letak santan. I kata santan yeah. very healthy, very healthy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, virgin coconut oil in salad instead of guna uh, olive oil. Ah, yeah. guna 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 virgin coconut oil. Mm-hmm. And bau dia sangat sedap kan Bau yes. bau minyak kelapa tu Kan so yeah. so nice um, Datuk Paduka ni bukan sahaja Apa ni advising you on nutritious food And cooking at home tu For the for this for this program je You tahu tak Not on show, not on TV je Memang Memang she is a good cook You know she And she really likes traditional cooking In fact she yeah. has an outfit called La Cucur And uh, that's yeah. where she promotes all the Malaysian kuih-kuih Melayu and all that. So if you all have the time, I think one place that I always go, I frequent like to show is in KL Central, kan? Ada, ada. One outlet uh, there. Uh, Our biggest is in KLCC. Ah, yeah. uh, biggest is in KLCC. So I jarang di KLCC, so I tak di sana. So you can visit La Chucho in KLCC or KL Central. Very nice, very nice local local kuih, kuih Melayu. Okay. So what else you want to talk about these cancer patients ni, Datuk Paduka? Um, how is their emotion bila dia dah dapat uh, cancer? Uh, how do you really get them to take action? Because some of them kan bila dia dah dapat cancer tu dia rasa macam Oh, dah lah, dah nak habis dah hayat ni, tak nak buat apa-apa dah, you know. Uh, stay at okay. home, they give up okay. and all that. Okay, part of our uh, Pekan activity is to train caregivers. Yeah. Okay. So, we we often do uh, courses where we invite people to join us as volunteers. But we must train the caregivers. Okay, um, to train to the approach how how to approach them, to, how to care for them emotionally, uh, spiritually, uh, and uh, and listen to them. Listen what are their problems, you know, as part of 
part of caring is to listen to their uh, worries, their their own punya um, apa yang 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 stressing them. You know, uh, there must be some uh, stress related lah hmm. when it comes to uh, patients who suffer from cancer. Ah, so you so, you agree that it started off from the stress issues, kan? Yeah, stress, way of life. Uh, banyak lah, you know, cancer ni macam-macam ni kan, uh, then that can trigger lah kan. And number one, I think from research is stress lah, stress related, stress at work, stress at home, stress everywhere lah in the environment, and also uh, from the environment lah in the air kan. So sometimes uh, at work where they work with uh, with macam chemicals things like that also can trigger kan. Every individual is different. So that's why caregivers must be trained to listen, to listen and understand uh, what are their problems so that they can find a solution. You know, kadang-kadang kita tak boleh solve every problem, tapi comforting words, uh, caring for them, helping them, aiding them, kadang-kadang financially pun, you know, uh, stress factor is when they cannot afford to go for treatments, they cannot afford to have a good family life because uh, somebody is not working ke, or finance, finances use a lot of finances used for their going hospitalized, hospitalization or going to the hospitals. So all this add up to a lot of anxiety in a patient. Lah. So very important. I don't want, I don't want people uh, when they visit homes, uh, stress the patient lagi. No, no. Pergi visit patient, start menangis lah, cakap pasal not positive things. That that all I don't want. I don't want to have caregivers who are like that. You know, uh-huh. caregivers must be positive. You know, so I find that kadang-kadang kalau kita, kita pergi rumah patient, kita yang cakap banyak. You don't allow the patient to express their suffering or their difficulties or sometimes patient ni just need somebody to be around them. That's it. So yeah. you must know, you must gauge what are their needs. Tadak, kita tak boleh impose on them. Uh, we must just support them. Betul. Betul. <laughs> yeah. So, so... Nah, ada patients ya, very secretive tau. Oh. Yeah, they're very secretive. They don't want to open up. They, kadang-kadang, they are malu. So, the approach to very important. That's why psychology plays an important part. Hmm. Uh, how to, how to be a good caregiver. I, I prefer professional caregivers lah. Uh, number one top on my list are the doctors and the doctors and the nurses lah. Yang dah biasa take care of cancer patients. Uh, they are, they, if they can join us, that is marvelous lah. Uh, another, uh, uh, maybe in the teaching field, people who taught people, they know the approach, you know, they know a bit of psychology, how to uh, educate, how to train and all that is also very good. Um, I, I value also yang mana yang, yang patient. Ah. And then I find that kadang-kadang you go the approach towards religion pun bagus juga. Uh, to give them hope um, through religion also very good. You know, not not only kita orang Islam lah, you know, cancer can strike anybody. Yeah. Kan? So don't don't be too um, macam Islamic. But it, you, you everybody, uh, life and death ni semua everybody will experience kan? Mm. So we go uh, be positive with them that you know only you can determine a good life or you want to suffer okay. so we go along the approach and with religion in any any religion pun eh, is about being positive and uh, wanting to get well wanting to get well and that's when they open up and ask me can or, or if I want to get well, what do I take? They will talk a lot about 
uh, nak ambil vitamin ke, nak ambil this ke, what type of food, they will talk. Then they will open up. Oh, if I take this type of food, good or not for me, uh, then they will open up. So this yeah. type of approach, very good to train caregivers. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, so you train the caregivers also to to consult them on changing their lifestyle, lah. Kan? They're not makan, but they like mende baru, yes. uh, fresh yeah. kinds of food, and then to change yeah. their lifestyle, to have a yeah. to change their emotion from being yeah. depressed and down and lose hope to having hope, yeah, uh, to being positive yeah. and yeah. all that. So those those things are also yeah. very important, kan? And family, family, family very important. Uh, kalau dia they have family dia ada dia ada husband dia ada anak-anak anak how they should support her the, the if the mother is ill or anybody you know is ill how the, the whole family how do they support you know and um, janganlah bagi macam uh, so routine you know life the life is so routine you know can some patients uh, cancer patients can still move about uh, good to take them out for a drive, for a walk, going for picnics, eating out, uh, you know, banyak, you know, le- le- uh, healthy lifestyle. Jangan bagi dia orang terkurung uh, duduk Lepas dalam rumah. Dalam rumah, yes. Yeah. Uh, and then makan tu, tukar-tukar, you know, bagi bagi dia macam selera sikit lah, you know, nak makan, you know, so that they boost up the energy, you know. Uh, can put so, in a bit more effort lah kan eh? and be creative yeah, yeah. kan very uh, so, very that's why we we don't want uh, the whole family lah to have pity on them jangan pity them uh, support them yes support right. them. yeah that's yeah. very important very key jangan pity mm-hmm. people yeah the mm-hmm. um sesiapa sahaja yang sakit don't pity them yeah. But you've got to yeah. support them. Supporting them means you've got to be strong yeah, for them. You've got to challenge them. You've got to ask them to yeah, get yeah. up, wake up, make the change. Yeah. yeah. The supporters are only yeah. able to support. Yeah. Then they have to have that change too. They can only make from themselves, right? It's from their own willpower. Because um, in any situation like this, ah, huh, you need you need sometimes you you have to. Face this way lah, you got to be cruel to be kind. Kadang-kadang you think that, oh, I cannot do that lah, that's so cruel to them. But sometimes that would help them wake them up that, you know, oh, I have to do it. You know, that that will make they make them force themselves to do it. It's just like get getting out of the bed. Yes. That's you know, and, and, and looking at a uh, positive that, I want to have a good day today, you know. I want to go and freshen up, pakai baju cantik-cantik, and walk out of the house. You know, give give that that mood. Yeah. You know, so this is very important. But sometimes it's, it's tough, you know. They run mungkin marah balik. They run buat tantrum lah macam-macam. But you know, you you talk to them nicely. Bukan cruel, uh, but firm, firm. Get Get, uh, they need somebody, yeah, they need a drive, you know, they need somebody to drive them. Hmm. So, at the end of the day, you've been kind to them. Yes, being kind by not being so nice, you know, by being that driver yeah. that they need. At that time, they will thank us later, kan? You buat physio pun. You, you buat physiotherapy, kan? Yes. Of course lah, bila dia duduk sakit-sakit, dia tak boleh nak bergerak, you suruh juga dia take the step. Hmm. Of course, dia marah kan, dia menjerit ke whatever. That's being cruel. But if they don't do it, they will never never get well, right? Yes. Betul. So if they get well, then you you have whatever you have done is being kind to them. Yeah, betul. Okay, that's very very nice. Okay, Datuk Paduka, um, our time is coming up because Zoom ni ada hari hmm. 40 minit je maksimum. Okay. So we thank you very much for being with okay. us. Okay. Very enlightening having you with your aura and all these positive things that you have said. Semoga <laughs> Allah merahmati okay. you all the time, inshallah, and your family. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, a lot of support from my Perkin members. Yeah. 
a lot of support. Yes, and we wish um, to to support Perkin as well. Inshallah, we hope we can we can work together and support Perkin as well. Inshallah. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Assalamualaikum. So Waalaikumsalam. So, viewers, alhamdulillah, we have very very good um, advice, tips, yeah, sharing daripada yang berbahagia Datuk Padu Dr. Sharifah Ishma. And um, we hope that uh, this is enlightening for you kerana selalu dengar daripada saya je kan. Uh, ini ada perubahan apa uh, pendapat uh, pendapat daripada orang-orang lain kan. To keep you moving, to keep you going, to motivate you in your steps to to survive uh, from this uh, apa from this problem of uh, having cancer. Okay, so semoga anda semakin hari semakin sihat, semakin aktif dan semoga Allah um, apa redha untuk panjangkan umur kita semua. Wabillahi taufik wa hidayah wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh.